Hello and welcome. This is some of the pipes that I have connected to the organ. All of these are playable, most of them are more or less tuned, um, but I'll give you a bit of a run through on what they are, why they look the way they do and how it all works. Most of these pipes sit on a thing called a wind chest. This is the top of the wind chest where you can see all of the pipes sitting in their positions. We have an 8 foot oboe, we have a gap that would normally have an 8 foot cornopian in it. Uh, we've got a three rank mixture, so these are three pipes that play at the same time. We block some of them off for tuning purposes and that's what they, those pipe cleaners are for. Behind that we have a four foot Gemshorn, then I have an eight foot Gamba, a two foot fifteenth, we've got a eight foot Vox Celeste, a eight foot Gedact, an eight foot open diapason and right at the back is a sixteen foot Lieblich Gedact. This particular wind chest is called a slider wind chest and it's basically a big box for trying to efficiently manage airflow. In some organs there would be a valve under each and every pipe that would uh, open when you want that pipe to speak but because there are 600 or so pipes sitting on top of this chest that would actually not be a very efficient way of doing it. So this is a slider wind chest. If you were to look from the front of the organ to the back you would see that all of the pipes one for every note are in a line and so there is a channel that runs underneath these pipes uh, one for every note on the keyboard so this top one this top channel here is C uh, and then on each side we go down in alternate semitones we have C, A sharp, G sharp, F sharp on this side and then we have B, A, G, F and so forth on the other side now obviously if there were a channel underneath this we would uh, we would press a note and we would have all of the ranks of pipes playing that uh, particular pitch. We want the ability to turn ranks on and off so there is a slider that runs underneath each of the uh, pipes for a particular rank and it can turn those on or off. And so at the end of the wind chest we have these things called slider motors. Now these are large electromagnets and what they do is move the sliders in and out. When the slider is pushed in the air is permitted to go from the channels underneath the chest into the pipes. When the slider is pulled out then the holes don't line up anymore and that particular rank of pipes will be silent. Here at the very end of my music room is perhaps one of my favourite ranks of pipes. This is the 16 foot trombone and indeed the lowest pipe of this is indeed 16 feet tall. It goes up 3 metres and then it's got a 90 degree bend and it comes into the room uh, a further 2 metres. It's a heavy pipe, it's a big pipe and it creates a glorious barking tone that really underpins chords quite beautifully. So I hope you've enjoyed this bit of an update and uh, look forward to the next video where you'll actually hear some of these pipes. Thanks for watching.